A lot of people have been asking right Don, where have you been? How come you're not doing any videos? Well, quite frankly, I've been sick. I've been sick for a couple of weeks now. I had the flu that I got. It was the third time this year I've had this flu. And then it, every time I've had it, I've had to have the doctor come out and give me a shot. And hold up for just a second. There's a hot rider on a Guy's got a loud motorcycle. He's got a motorcycle with no muffler. Actually. Or if he does, it's some kind of high performance muffler. We really like those guys. They do that all hours of the day and night. He may go by again. I'd love to throw a rock at him. But, but anyway. So yeah, I've been I've been sick, I, I, and I've also uh, it's been a little bit difficult to try to come up with some content. You know, I'm I'm running out of ideas, things to talk about. Probably shouldn't have started this video at this time. It's ten minutes till six o'clock, and we got all the hot rodders going home. But anyway, uh, I I I I'm running out of content. I'm, I'm literally just running out of things to talk about. Everything that's going on here lately, I mean, we have a new president now, Daniel Oboa, who was, was elected, not uh, Luisa Garth Gonzalez, I think that was her name. She was very much influenced by uh, Rafael Cardea. If she had won the election, Correa would have been running this country, in my opinion. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what pretty much the general consensus on the street is. Anyway, the, uh, I, I made my feeble attempt at making predictions about how the election was going to come out, and I had said that everybody in the country will probably vote for Oboa with the exception of Mana B. And I was right. The majority of the, the the majority of the votes that Louisa got, uh, over fifty percent of her votes, she got from Mana B. Here's a an attachment that somebody sent me, and you can look at this and read it for yourself. This, the numbers how the voting was broken down by province. So anyway, so we have a new president. I. Pray to God that he doesn't get assassinated. I know that's probably a terrible thing to say, but that's what's been happening here this year. You know, people have been getting shot. There's been a lot of violence in Ecuador. A lot of people are asking me, you know, is it even worth it to come here anymore, you know? And quite frankly, I don't really know how to answer that. Uh, hold on, let the motorcycle go by. Bye bye. So anyway, I don't know how to answer that. There, there's a lot going on in Ecuador. There's a lot of growth right here in Monta. Lots and lots of growth. I've seen so many things change in the last two years that I've been here in, in terms of development, the new park system, and there's there there's going to be this whole new beach system that's further down toward. Uh, Tarki down in that area and they're building a giant music venue down there which which is great because it's away from here okay this is Masaya Lago which is where we are right here and there's a lot of uh, when they do a party on the beach down here it's a no sleep night you know it's the way it goes so so anyway we have a new president. We're all happy about that. I think most most of the expats that I know, I'm happy about. So is happy about it. And let's just hope that it all works out. Okay. There's people are writing to me and asking me, you know, about my opinions about living here, whether I should, whether they should continue their journey to come here and retire and, and I'd say sure it's it's not any different 
I mean, yeah, there's a lot of crime. There's a lot of cartel crime. Lots of cartel crime, all right? There's still the petty crime on the streets, you know, but common sense, if you just use common sense, you can avoid the petty crime. The cartel crime, if you don't get involved in drugs or get in politics, you're probably a pretty good ch chance you, you're not going to be a, a victim of cartel crime. I hope, you know, you're not a victim of crossfire or something like that. But anyway, but I, you know, I, for those of you that are planning to come here, I say, come on, don't, don't let the news that you've heard this year stop you. The only problem, really, that I see here, especially here in Monta, is that housing inventory is getting low. It's hard to find a place to rent here, especially in terms of finding the, the right bargain for you, what you think is going to be a good bargain. It's not uh, the, the real low end or the low price apartments are gone. They're taken. And a lot of the new development that's being developed here is already sold. Scorpio over here is like, I don't know how many, there's 21 floors, I believe. I don't know how many all total units, but I think most of it's already sold out. Grand Bay is, I think a couple of the buildings there is already sold out. There's other new buildings going up. There's a lot of development coming forth. So, I, I still recommend, and I say this with, with every, I, I, I say this with the most sincerity that I can come up with. Do, if you can afford it, do an exploratory trip. Okay, I didn't do an exploratory trip. I'll tell people I'm still doing mine. But you know, the truth of the matter is I didn't do an exploratory trip. I watched this couple and listen to them and follow them and wish I'd never done that, to tell you the truth. But I'm here, so I wish I'd done an exploratory. I, I encourage you to do an exploratory trip before you come here, especially nowadays, if you can afford it. And don't just, don't, don't think coming here for two weeks is gonna do it. You need six months. I know that not everybody can do that, and that's unfortunate, but that's, that's really what you should do. Let's see, what else do I have to talk about? I, 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 I want to produce some more content for you. I want to do uh, some more interviews. I'd like to get some ideas from what you people want to see. So if you don't mind, leave a comment down below and tell me what you want to see, all right? Send me out on assignment, okay? I'm here for you, so you tell me what you want to see, and I'm gonna, I'll go and do it, okay? That's that's my idea. That's 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 something brand new. I've never offered that before. You tell me what you want me to do, what you want to see, and it won't cost you anything, and I'll go and do it, okay? Another thing I want to talk about it just it just occurred to me. The I want to thank you for the fundraiser that we did. For Mark Bradbury, you guys gave a little over ten thousand dollars, and I've given that money to Arena and her family. Mark, I asked Mark back when he could communicate. Um, where, you know, whether I should hang on to the money and give it to him, put it in his bank account, or give it to Arena, and he told me to give it to Arena, and Arena is taking care of. It. She's not. She's managing it just fine. She's using it properly. She's already used it to pay for some pretty expensive medicine that Mark's had to have. To give you an update on Mark, he's like week 10 now in ICU. I, I want to be as positive as I can, but I'll tell you the truth, folks, it's, he's got a really tough recovery ahead of him. And I don't, you know, we don't know if he's going to make it or not. It, it doesn't look good for him. He's, he's been in, in ICU now for 10 weeks. He's not been up. He cannot breathe on his own. He has one lung. He's got a lot of problems. So we just got to hang on to hope and for us praying people, let's pray for him, okay? And let's hope for the best, okay? But I want to thank you when, at, when the time becomes uh, right, I'll do a, a video with Irina 
and we'll we'll do I'll do a scrolling list of all the contributors. Uh, I won't mention who gave how much, but I want to acknowledge everybody that donated to Mark, and I want to let you know that I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We've done a tremendous amount of good for Irina, and I will tell you, out of the ten thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, I kept a hundred for myself for just some miscellaneous, a uh, couple of tanks of gas, and because I made a still make a lot of trips to Fort Viejo, but I did take a hundred dollars for myself and you know the rest of it I gave to Irina. So that's about it. That's it's kind of a beautiful day today, a beautiful night tonight. We've got clear skies. It's been kind of a warm one. And I'm sorry that there's been some such a long time between videos, but I'm trying to come up with new content and starting today I'm going to take orders from you okay you tell me what you want to see and I'll give it to you okay thanks so much if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this video give me that thumbs up if you don't like this video bite me and I say that with peace and love okay I'll see you on the next one ciao ciao Howdy.